What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 4 and 4 anime. In today's video I'm opening up a Suyu Osui scale figure that I got from armyarmy.com and uh, yeah, this one is super, super awesome. Uh, I remember, I think it was meant to come in my March shipment, but for some reason it got delayed and then got shipped out separately on its own. So um, yeah, uh, all good, I mean, <laughs> more figures to open. So I thought instead of putting her with my, like, May haul, because uh, that's that's got a lot of figures in it. I thought I'd just do this one randomly on its own. It's a pretty sweet, sweet figure. Awesome sauce. Ugh. So here's the Army Army card. Let me uh, show you. Nice and dark. Uh, but uh, yeah, here's a look at the Army Army card. I think this is like April or May's. But uh, cheerleaders for the win. Looks super awesome. So uh, yeah, inside the box we've got all the... Uh, the the protectiveness and uh, yeah this is a pretty big box the box is about the same size as said box that this has just come in so we've got the Suyu Osui she is a 1 8 scale obviously from My Hero Academia uh, it's nice to see that they've actually made a figure uh, that isn't Deku, Kachan or Todoroki so that's awesome obviously I know they brought Ochako out recently um, so I think I've got two figures of Ochako coming and uh, she's got a Nendo out or on pre order, out or to be confirmed. I think it's to be confirmed. Well, the, announce, the announcement date is to be confirmed anyway. Uh, and I know they've just announced figures for, uh, oh god, what's the name? Uh, Earphone Jack. What's her, what's her name? Yeah, so they've got one for Jiro and they've got one for Toga. Uh, so I pre ordered them, they look pretty sweet. I think they're coming in September. Uh, and September looks disastrous as it is. Uh, but Today we're focusing on Suyu, Froppy, and uh, this looks really awesome. So uh, let me just change this camera angle and we'll uh, get straight into it. I'll show you the box and we'll unbox it and then B-roll and then finish. Peace. Okay, so front of the box, as you can see, we've got a window that showcases the Suyu figure in there. We've got a picture of Suyu herself. I imagine her name in the, the Japanese, uh, and it looks really, really awesome. On the side of the figure, we've got, on the side of the box, I should say, uh, we've got some pictures of Suyu. The figure looks really, really good, showing off some of the uh, assets. <laughs> Pun. Uh, on the other side, it's just a giant picture of Suyu with her kind of green and orange and yellow color scheme. Fitting of a frog. On the back of the box, we've got just a large a scale picture of the figure. Uh, which says splash behind it, so splash, uh, which is awesome. On top of the box, uh, it's just a top window and it's kind of like some action thing going on on top there. So that looks really cool. Um, but let's get into said figure. Oh, um, yeah. Sliding Sue out of it. She comes with like alternate faces and um, her tongue. You can have her tongue sticking out or not. Uh, we've got some instructions, which is always handy. Instructions are good. Just here. I usually tend to ignore them and then start putting the figure together and being like, uh, what am I doing? So we'll keep these out, I think. I think this will be a good idea. Uh, but here is Sue in the plastic. Rapage, so to speak, you can see her accessories there. The base looks absolutely sweet. So they've got a nice kind of like water splash effect going on, uh, which as you know, if you've watched any of my previous figure unboxings, I do love it when they put a bit of attention into the base. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a black base when it comes to the figure being absolutely gorgeous, but I think if the base matches the figure, it just adds a lot more to it. It's more aesthetically pleasing. So uh, I'm all for that. There we go. Off you go. Let's start with Osui herself. So obviously as you can see she comes in all of the plastic wrappage. Plastic wrappage I should say. Let's uh, slide you off cam. Uh, she's got some plastic going on in her hair on her arm and uh, she looks absolutely awesome so there's Suyu there they've captured like her face and like hero costume perfectly they've put some like creases into like the clothing to match the pose it just looks so so good uh the hair the way that flows at the back with her famous like massive kind of 
bow <laughs> or whatever that is just looks awesome i love the hands on these as well it just looks uh like the the massive and just really animated that looks so so good i can see why everyone loves a bit of the froppy but uh, let's uh get her up there look at that beautiful there is that hole there for the tongue uh, so I'm guessing this is the facial expression that will have the tongue out because I mean if you don't have that on there It does look a bit silly, but uh, Looks awesome. I'm super happy with that. So let's have a look at the other stuff that we've got uh, with Suyu So here's the base for Suyu. I love that they've got this animated splash uh, Thing going on as you can see at the top. They've got this kind of water Fountain-esque thing that she's gonna stand on top of bit of water protruding from the back of there as well um i believe the i can't remember what the company is that made this Aiza, maybe um but yeah i know they've got a an ochaku one coming out as well from the same series and then obviously the jiro and toga one uh from the same same guys that have made this one so these are going to look absolutely amazing together and it's nice that they've they've, they've avoided doing like deku kachan todoroki and whatnot as for accessories, we've got uh, some separate hairpiece for her. I imagine that's if she's not going to be wearing her goggles on top. We have an alternate face here uh, where she's just looking off to the side. There's no hole for the tongue or anything on this, so we can have her without, with or without the tongue, I should say. So, of course, we have got the tongue as well, and then this little uh, headpiece thing here that goes on the back of the figure. So I'll just quickly pop these on her so we can have a quick look. So here she is with the tongue. It looks much better with the tongue hanging out than that little hole, which is uh, super cool. I think I'm gonna probably keep her in this pose uh, with the goggles on everything. It just looks super awesome. And that other piece just stuck onto the back just over here. Uh, looks really good. So I think what I'm gonna do is just roll some B-roll uh, AKA take some photos of Suyu, uh, and then I'll be right back with you. So, peace. There we go, hope you enjoyed the B-roll segment here. Um, this figure is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy they have made a Suyu figure. I think it's one that uh, definitely needed to be made based just solely on how popular her character is. Uh, I think it absolutely looks, it just looks amazing. I love the detail they've done overall and it, it's just a very, it's just a pleasure to look at, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more anime figure reviews, my Amiomi monthly hauls, whatnot, check out the uh, the playlist in the cards now. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button as it really does help these videos reach a wider audience and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace.